Welcome back YouTube Triple E7 Skills here for the final episode of the season. We have one easy game which I'm just going to simulate and then the final game we're going to play is against Arsenal. Of course we're still going to have the season goal and I do think we're going to fail one. And there's, but we're going to go ahead and see. Well, we're going to go to it right now. Objective, we all know, yeah, that one's a f total flop. We didn't complete a single one. So, Andrew Townsend's going to have to be released. Top six we've completed, so on the rear about that. In the midfield maestros, we just need three more. We have two games today against Brentford Arsenal. Hopefully we can complete them. Because if not, we're gonna have to release just almost anybody. We're gonna let Siri decide who we do release at the in the next season. For this game against Brentford, we have to play to Corey and Allen. We need to get those assists. We really need to because this is the last opportunity out two games. So we really have to. Hopefully to get one or two assists. We come from the winning Ray goals it's good for the win but the important thing at the moment i feel is if they got the assists let's see okay allen oh, okay nothing nothing oh no yeah i think that's gonna be a fail gasner i've been dreaming yeah i finally decided to promote him but this is the side we're going to go against arsenal it's going to be a difficult game but oh the halovich we all know those type of strikers are lethal against me and I mean, if we can win by three goals with Zucori Allen getting the three assists, that would be amazing. But at this moment, I'm not too confident. The Champions League, we all know that. It's so not already winning. Uh, back to them. So like next season, I'm curious about who we should sign. With um, Gabriel, he like he's been okay, but it hasn't been ideal. <clears throat> We're probably going to have to sign a new winger because of the the departure of Townsend. So either like a right or left, and we already see Gray making a run. Wait, can we get something? Ooh, that's in? Oh, I was not so expecting that. And we'll, this is the ideal beginning. And before this, I did make the sliders a little bit more difficult for us, but it doesn't matter. Gray, he wants to finish this. And yes, it was an assist by the two CDMs, but it's a goal, and I mean, it's a good Gray, a little higher up. One goal ahead against Arsenal, and things that are looking promising. The defense, like maybe a, a defender could be signed, but oh no. Also, a midfielder probably. Cause I first I was pretty confident about complete. Can we see something? We already another goal. I don't know how to do the respect thing. If I could do the respect celebration, I would. Sorry, sorry, Arsenal. Oh, that's just disrespect from Gabriel Martinelli. Uh, I mean, oh, what a finish, though. Green timed. Maybe it is better with the sliders like this, because it's easier. And I put the player base difficulty on. I thought I had that on, but I guess not. And it's probably making their two defenders playing like how they are in real life. Oh, now look at Cherokee. He's not fast. I don't know why he seems so fast. But two goals ahead. Still no assist from the two CDMs. Okay, let's go. We ask Siri, and like only do like the, like I don't know, maybe the main players are maybe the worst. And Richarlison, can we get another one? Another one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Silas is doing great out there, out wide, just crossing it in, and Richarlison gets his head to it. Well, I don't know why they seem so open. Like, part of me is like, is this even legendary difficulty? Because it's not playing like it. Like, I don't understand it. But which is left foot, then that would go in. Don't, don't, you, no, no, I said. I, I swear I, okay, that was, um, big no-no moment from Pickford. But okay. Miss. I'll give him some time. There he is. Uh, I wanted him to score some good goals, but he just couldn't. He scored some crucial goals and has been a great player, but... Ooh, look at that. Also, a striker might be someone, like a little bit of a smaller player. What? What? Majuwe? First to finish, and second off, I passed that to Kevin Lewin. What has happened? 
what has happened. Look, great dribbling, and then the finish on his left peg. Okay. Yeah, I think this is over. Now, I just want to see how many goals we can score against Arsenal. They have nothing to fight for. They have ultimate team on squad battles because of icon swaps. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We will not look at that moment, Cray. You scored a goal. I guess that's it. Okay, now they're starting a little bit more better passing. And now I'm sliding in. Just don't get on his left. And there's Pickford just laying on the floor. A little bit of a risky challenge, but... He's out of danger for a little bit. Imagine sure we get to that. Block that cross. Okay, we're seeing some decent passing. And an Udegaard right at the keeper. And we get it out. Oh, the chip. Look at him. Look at this man. He, we want to finish this season off in a bang. Oh, just. It. Ooh, look at that opportunity. We're just taking these long shots now. We are just done like playing serious now. We're just having some fun. And Leno, he's now like. Ah, uh, no goal for him. I would like a goal for his last game, but oh, maybe we still have a little bit of attack going. Uh, no one really to pass to anymore. Another one, and another one. Six nil. We are having a Bayern Munich versus Barcelona game. I feel like Bayern Munich is destroying. That's a great finish from Calvert Lewin. Makes me actually want to keep him. I was thinking about selling him, but I, I can't, how can I sell him when he just shoots like that? Yeah, I mean, we have 86 minutes. Let's go ahead and give some other players a little bit of time. Because, why not? Look at Rao subs. Gomez. I liked him this season. I would not want to lose him. Like, Keen, I would be willing to do something. And I guess that's the it. That's it. Okay. A 6 nil killing. Arteta, how do you feel about that? Because we, we're not champions of, the, of England yet. But what a day. This man right there. And now he freezes. Okay. I'm proud of the boys out there. But the interesting part is where we're standing. So, a press conference is what we're going to attend. The headlines of the day today was after a great stunning performance and his two goals with sealed your victory. What are your thoughts on the star man? Okay, well, he, he didn't cap. He wasn't the captain. I couldn't ask more. I could not say this. Everyone was great this game, so I could not ask more for him. Fantastic record for the team, of course. Everton going unbeaten for seven games. How do you reflect on the run and how do your players achieve? Hmm. So, it's pretty good. We have to follow up on it. We have no more games, so it's a statistic, not a trophy. Yeah, we didn't get the trophy, so not much to celebrate with that part, but it's really honorable. And did your boys prove a point with the team win today? I think we took Arsenal by surprise. I think we took everybody by surprise. And of course, well, I'm always willing to answer the questions. Looks like this is going to end as the Premier League. We get second place to Liverpool. We just get out over you. And we're just four points away from being level with Manchester City. But overall, it's a good one. I can't wait for next season, definitely. And we're going to come for that title. And, ho and I don't think we're going to win the Champions League. But if we can do a decent job, then I would like that. I mean, just look at Club news. Everton grab you. Wait for Champions League place. And that is, yes, we are there next week. My favorite part after the end of the season is things we won everything. The Amanda United won the FA Cup, that's pretty good. Artists, you know, won the Caramel Cup, certainly had the winning mentality in that game. We so against Watford, and we won our match. And then, okay, Villarreal is a surprise there. Okay, this game still has to be played. Amanda United and Real Madrid is Monaco and Milan, and Roma, and Spurs. Okay, I mean, I'm curious what, how Manchester United. Hmm. I did see that Ronaldo was the player of the tournament. Monaco, and I think we can go. Oh, Bruma. That's really nice. 
Wish they had the actual badge and everything. But, eh, whatever. Yep, I mean, this was a, was a fun season. It did episodes, really nice. But, even this is a shorter episode. Oh, look at them, ah, Ronaldo with this thing. We are all gonna get that trophy next year. Yes, we will. Well, thank you all for watching this season, and I can't wait to come back with season two. I hope you all enjoy this season. Oh, look, player of the episode. Oh, look, there's two Everton players. Sorry, I'm getting distracted there, but that's, I don't know, but uh, I'll tell you guys how they do that. And in the beginning of the next episode, we'll tell you how the forfeits and everything, and what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, the player of the season, and uh, I think you guys know who I'm gonna pick. So it's like he's on the screen. And it's not Harry Leaks. Well, hope you guys all enjoyed and put your comments down below for new signing because it's gonna be a new transfer window.